All right guys, so the next step in this is gonna be getting the wiring from down here up to the top. I'm gonna to push some fish tape into the wall over here and Grayson's gonna hook it with a fish rod. And you can see we have a, a hook here on the end. Push a bunch of extra in there. And it gives a higher probability that he's gonna be able to hook it. seconds, uh, just so you guys know. <laughs> That's why they call it fishing, because fishing takes time. Yeah. You can see my fish shape's kind of a mess, so I'm just reeling it back in. That uh, took a little bit of doing, but I got it all back in. Now we're going to tape it to the end of our fish tape. You know, layered. Layered fashion, just so that it goes through the hole a little bit easier. If you bundle them all up right at the very tip, you end up uh, getting stuck in the wall. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull as he feeds. So the next thing is popping in our power outlet receptacle. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a better view here. So I'm gonna put the power outlet up top. And just like you see in our other videos, putting in a power outlet, you just uh, strip back your shielding. Like that. Strip back the shielding on each of the common and hot lines. And then I'm gonna put my back box in. High voltage back box closed. That way it's code compliant. You don't start a fire. If there is a spark, God forbid. And then you're gonna keep your wires down through. Now, like right now, you saw all that extra slack that went back in the wall. That's fine, but you do need to make sure you remember that there's that slack in there and pull the extra slack towards um, the cabinet side so that it doesn't start a fire or you know, burn whenever the fireplace is in use. Same thing goes for the HDMIs, but the HDMIs aren't as dangerous. You'll just lose your video signal, which is annoying. Alright, so I got my common hot and ground hooked up in my receptacle. I don't know, I'll just go ahead and screw it in. Next, my uh, wall plate. Power outlet's installed. Next, I'm gonna put a pass plate on. Low voltage retro ring. See how this one is open ended on the back. And then the pass box from Datacom is the one that we always use. Any of them are fine. All right, now we're finished on this particular section. Um, now, these cables are not long enough, so we're gonna need to pull some slack. And since this is an 86 inch TV, we're gonna need quite a bit because it's got to come down like this and then go all the way over to the side ports. So this is about how much slack you need. It seems excessive, it's like six feet, but you don't want to break the tips off of the end. It's necessary. Now Grayson's just working on the power lines and everything hooked up over here. Basically, he's just going to fish the lines up the wall and then we're going to tap off this outlet right here. Uh, very simple, you know, we're going to connect uh, black to hot common uh, to white and then green to ground and uh, throw our outlet tester on there make sure everything's good to go 
All right, so here's the next step to this installation is putting the wall plate on to make it look a little bit cleaner because this is paintable. I went ahead and put a couple two inch holes in this, one for the power and one for the pass through. And then they provide these little Velcro pieces that help keep it on. So what we're gonna do is basically take, you know, one on this side here, one here, one here, one here. And then with the other side of the Velcro, we're gonna wrap it around like that here according to the instructions so that whenever you go to stick it on, it holds itself in place. I'll show you once I get it done. All right, so I got my Velcro on there and I got my Velcro on here where I can stick to and I'll go ahead and stick it on. And that actually works pretty well. Sticks on there. Very good. All right guys, so um, I didn't record it just because it literally just took us like 30 minutes just to get the sound bar on there. But what we ended up doing was um, installing a secondary, I don't know if you can see, but there's a secondary sound bar bracket here um, that attaches to the bolts. And then we're gonna use the handle separately uh, for the customer to hold on to uh, other than the sound bar just because of the way that the Sono sound bar mounts. But it's coming along. It's a little bit more work, like always, with these mantle mounts. Hey guys, this is Zach with Dream Media. We just finished up this project. Uh, this is the Mantle Mount MM700 and we have an 86 inch LG TV. I can't tell if you guys can see how big this thing is, but this is absolutely massive and super heavy. Um, this hydraulic mount actually handled it like a champ. Um, it is a little tough on, on the very end there, but um, we got it dialed in just perfect to where it, it makes it pretty easy for um, the elderly customer even to be able to do it themselves. Um, and you can see we hooked up here at the bottom of the TV a Sonos Play Bar. This is probably one of the best selling Sonos bars. Uh, been using this for years and what's great about this is it has multi-room capabilities. Gives you the ability to pair together this room with other rooms throughout your home if you don't have in-ceiling speakers or structured wiring in place. We are a mantle mount dealer, LG dealer, and Sonos dealer. We can sell you all of these products at a very competitive price, and in most cases, get you the best pricing on the internet. Give me a call, shoot me an email, and I would be happy to discuss these options with you. I'm gonna show you how this uh, particular mount goes up and down and side to side. You can see just with a couple fingers, it goes right up into the fixed location, and then I'll bring it back down. We did do all the electrical work for this, as well as hide all of the wires. Everything's over here in the cabinet. We put in a couple extra HDMIs, 18 gigabit per second, 4K cables for them, and we just got a dish and a Blu-ray hooked up at this time. Um, you wanna show behind there? 
Power outlet installed, wires all nice and tidy. You gotta make sure you leave a little extra slack on these guys just so that um, as you swing it around, they don't get hung up and rip the tips off the edge of your uh, HDMI ports. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe down below for more of our videos. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater.